All right, everybody, we are going to go over the background information for the thickness of aluminum foil wax. And one of the things that you might not realize is that a piece of aluminum foil, even though it's really, really thin, has a length, it has a width, and it has a height. And that height is what we are going to call its thickness. So we can determine the volume of a three-dimensional object using the volume equals length times width times height calculation. But instead of height, we're going to rename that thickness. So that's where we get this equation. Volume equals length times width times thickness, or T is going to stand for the thickness, or technically the thinness of our aluminum foil. Now, because it is so thin, we can't measure it with a ruler. So we have to do a bunch of indirect measurements. Okay, if you take a look at this, um, this example or this uh, formula right here, length times width is easily measurable. That's known as the area, okay? So area is length times width. So I'm gonna substitute that in here and get volume equals area times thickness. Well, we can't figure out what the thickness is going to be when it's multiplied by area. So I'm going to rearrange this. I'm going to divide both sides by area. And what I get is thickness equal to the volume over the area. And that's how we're going to indirectly measure the thickness. But there's a problem because volume is length times width times height. So we kind of refulfill into that. I can figure out my area, no problem, by measuring its length and width. So that I can easily do. So how am I going to figure out its volume? Well, since we know that this is aluminum foil, we can look up aluminum on the periodic table. And that periodic table will tell us what its density is. Density is a ratio of mass over volume. Its density is 2.70 grams per centimeters cubed. So I can take the D equals M over V equation and rearrange them to get volume equals mass over density. All right, since density is known to be 2.70 grams per centimeter cubed, what I then can use is my scale to determine its mass. Then I can calculate the volume and plug it in. So I'm going to have to do a couple of different steps to solve this. Number one, I have to figure out the area. The area is very important. Number two, I'm going to have to figure out its mass from the scale. Then calculate our volume and plug that in. And number three, I'll use this thickness equation to get volume divided by area. So this is our be all end all equation for indirectly measuring how thick or thin a piece of aluminum foil is.